Right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. All right, Paul, thank you once again, and good evening, everyone. This is a Sunday night edition of the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call, where we take your calls until 11 o'clock. We also take tweets, too, so call 412-575-2600. That's the number of the Board of Board of Hotline. You can also tweet me tonight at KD Pomp as we saw another uh, week of NFL football now uh, that only has one more game, and that's left tomorrow night when the Chiefs uh, will play. Uh, and Patrick Mahomes back in their lineup. So they're coming off a loss, and things are really tightening up in the AFC. Right now, the Steelers, which came into this week as the number six seed and a wild card team, have fallen to number eight now overall because teams like the Houston Texans, even though they lost today, and that was a good loss if you're the um, you know, Steelers looking for a team. They're not going to catch the Ravens, but they can catch the Houston Texans in the wild card. Uh, they are six and four. Oakland six and four. Pittsburgh five and five. There are a lot of teams right in the mix there with Indianapolis in that hunt, Jacksonville. So they're going to be looking for some separation at some point. And the Steelers. That's why the remaining games, even though their offense is really, really stressed right now and trying to figure out how to generate points and uh, possession time and everything else, they, they have a schedule that they can manage. And you would think get in position to perhaps win nine or ten games. And if it's nine, you may not get in, but you might get in depending on how things go. As far as the Ravens are concerned, uh, I think they're totally legit. And when you watch Lamar Jackson, you know that they have full trust in him. Uh, and he runs the ball so effortlessly. And that show, uh, that run I showed you on these uh, highlights just moments ago, uh, that was as good as the one he had last week. And, and you know, he turned a four-yard lo uh, loss into a 39-yard gain. Uh, he is that talented. He's also been very good in the air. Four more touchdown passes, no interceptions. He protects the ball. He is dynamic. And if you're asking me if I have an MVP right now, it has to be him. Who else would it be given where they are? They're 8-2. and two, And if New England had lost today, which they did not, they beat Philadelphia, the Ravens would have the number one seed by virtue of their win against New England, a game in which they dismantled them. So uh, they're playing at a very, very high level. The Steelers were right there with them and should have won the game, if you might remember that Juju Schuster fumble. Um, but right now, things are tough because all these guys are injured. Uh, they're going to start the week with Deontay Johnson and Juju Smith-Schuster in the concussion protocol. They also have James Conner, who likely, you know, based on what we saw the other night, I wouldn't bet he's going to be back this week. And so they, they brought in another guy from a practice squad, uh, two guys, in fact, one from the Bears, one from the Colts. And, you know, they're just trying to figure out people to come in and contribute here. So uh, they need as much help as they can get. The offensive line will be without Marquise Pouncey, although he has appealed. So has Miles Garrett, who wants to lessen his. But quite frankly, Miles Garrett deserves what he got. And I want to ask you, do you think the punishment fit the crime here? What he did, uh, it's an indefinite suspension. It's going to go throughout the rest of the season and into next year. And I think it should go into next year based on what he did. We've never seen anything quite like that. Uh, and you can blame Mason Rudolph all you want, but I'm not going to do that. He was in the last play of the game, got rid of the ball, and all of a sudden he's tackled. Uh, didn't need to be tackled, I thought, given that they were up by 14 points and that play was insignificant, and yet he was. Uh, I, you know, the fact is he's trying to push that guy off of him, and he got his helmet. You can argue he was trying to push his helmet off, whatever. Uh, you know, did he contribute to it? Yes, but at the same time, it did not rise to the level of a suspension. And for those of you who think he did, you're, you're absolutely wrong. Should he be fined? Yes. A lot of guys are going to be fined. That's just the way the NFL works. But Garrett took it to a whole new level, and that's why he got what he got. So the question is, what will it be like on December 1st? That's two weeks from today when they come here, the Browns do. Uh, I don't expect anything at all, quite frankly, because Garrett won't be there. Pouncey likely won't be there. Uh, what else are you going to do? You're going to play the game. You're gonna, the best medicine is to try to win a game and get them uh, you know, back on track, and that's what the Steelers are going to try to do. But they got the Bengals up next. We saw their game today. They almost beat Oakland. They're still 0-10. They still stink. But at the same time, with a limited offensive capabilities of the Steelers right now, you know, that could be a dangerous area for them to go in. Let me know what you think about these topics and more. Uh, Penguins with a very nice win last night, as we said in the highlights, beating Toronto 6-1. The Maple Leafs are a mess right now, and Mike Babcock's got his hands full. They've lost five in a row, and they're just struggling in every aspect of the game. But the Penguins took it to them. They played well in New Jersey the night before, and I thought they should have won that game, if not for Mackenzie Blackwood. Uh, but 
hey, give him credit. Guys like Dominic Cahoon stepping up. If Kenny Mall can play some of his best hockey when Sydney's not around, it's vice versa. Those guys know that they got to raise their level if one is out with injury, and they do it. And Malkin was terrific last night again. So they're getting production from a lot of people, and I think they can stay afloat and, and right in contention until Crosby gets back sometime in about five or six weeks. In the meantime, call us right now. It's 412-575-2600, and we will air your opinions, and I'll read some tweets as well. It's all coming up next right here live on Pittsburgh CW. The Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call is brought to you by Ireland Contracting, putting new roofs on Pittsburgh homes for over 25 years. Call Ireland Contracting at 1-800-NEW-ROOF.